Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this video we are going to learn about Fermi energy level. Okay, so Fermi energy level which is standard which is in standard form represented by EF. Okay, so we know that in a semiconductor there are sorry so there are different types of energy levels so if this is your valence band so then ev represents the highest energy level in the case of valence band and if this is your conduction band ec represents your uh, lowest energy level in the conduction band and we will take it as up to infinity zero to infinite there is infinite number of uh, energy levels in a semiconductor and uh, on the x-axis it is length of semiconductor length of semiconductor so this is energy band diagram so this is energy levels here okay so there will be many energy levels which is present from zero to infinity okay so the what is fermi energy level then so the fermi energy level is also present in is also present in semiconductor is also present in semiconductor so right from this zero to infinity there will be some uh, energy level which is called as fermi energy level so what is the speciality of this fermi energy level is in fermi energy level the electron will travel with maximum speed electron will travel with maximum speed so fermi energy fermi energy is defined as is defined as the maximum kinetic energy maximum kinetic energy possessed by possessed by electron at zero degrees kelvin okay so this is the importance of fermi energy level okay so this fermi energy level is not uh, constant in the case of intrinsic and extrinsic semiconductor and in again in extrinsic semiconductor it is not same for both n type and p type semiconductor okay so for different types of semiconductors we have different uh, fermi energy levels okay so we'll discuss that one by one so where the fermi energy levels exist in the case of intrinsic semiconductor where the fermi energy level exists in the case of n type semiconductor and also in p type semiconductor in the upcoming videos so in this video we'll concentrate only up to fermi energy level and its properties okay so fermi energy level is maximum kinetic energy so ef can be written as maximum kinetic energy processed by the electron so maximum kinetic energy is given by half m v square v max whole square so here this is m where m represents the mass of electron so ef is equal to half m v max whole square so it implies v max is equal to root of 2ef by m 2ef by m so this equation represents maximum velocity of electron maximum velocity of electron in terms of fermi energy in terms of ef okay fermi energy so okay so this is about fermi energy level so in order to find whether the uh, the position of fermi energy level we will consider fermi dirac distribution so we will consider fermi dirac distribution given by two scientists fermi and dirac okay so fermi dirac distribution it is function of energy levels f of e is given by 1 plus 1 by sorry 1 by 1 plus e power e minus ef by kt 
okay so e minus a so this uh, fermi dirac distribution is same for metal or for semiconductor okay so this is same for uh, metal or semiconductor so this is used so fermi dirac distribution is used to find so to is used to find the probability probability of existence of electron that is whether electron is present or not in the fermi energy level probability of existence of electron as a function of energy level as a function of energy level okay so this is about fermi dirac distribution okay so we have seen f of e that is fermi dirac distribution is given by 1 by 1 plus e power e minus ef by kt so it gives the probability of existence of electron so probability of existence of electron in uh, any semiconductor okay so probability of existence of electron in case of semiconductor so if uh, t is equal to 0 degrees kelvin so first we will take some cases and see where, what is the uh, effect of fermi energy uh, or f of e in a semiconductor so when t is equal to 0 degrees kelvin there are two cases so first case is e is greater than ef and second case is e is less than ef so when e is greater than ef then e minus ef is greater than 0 that is it becomes positive so it becomes positive so what will be f of e now so f of e is equal to 1 by 1 plus e power so since t is equal to 0 and this is positive t is also equal to 0 so this this term becomes infinite this term becomes infinite so it becomes e power infinity so 1 by infinity so which becomes 0 similarly when e is less than ef so e minus ef becomes less than 0 so e minus ef becomes less than 0 so this term becomes negative so now f of e is equal to 1 by 1 plus so this is negative so and this is 0 so it becomes negative infinity instead of positive infinity now it becomes negative infinity so we know that this term becomes 0 so e power minus infinity can be written as 1 by e power infinity which is equal to 0 okay so now this becomes 1 by 1 plus 0 so is equal to 1 okay so this value is equal to 1 so conclusion here the important point here is at t is equal to 0 degrees kelvin at t is equal to 0 degrees kelvin there is the electrons the electrons will be existing will be existing in the energy levels which are less than fermi energy level okay so electrons will be as i have told you fermi dirac distribution gives the probability of existence of electron in a semiconductor so now here we have got this probability so this is f of e is probability so now probability is one that means there will be if there are electrons then they exist in the energy values which are less than ef so this is certain event when probability is one then it is called a certain event okay so all the electrons will be existing in the energies which are less than fermi energy level and for all the energy levels which are greater than fermi energy level the probability is zero so it is impossible event so it does not occur so all the electrons will not be exist any electron will not be existing in the energies which are greater than this fermi energy level from this concept okay so this is very important point at t is equal to 0 degrees kelvin all the ex all the electrons will be existing in the semiconductors in the energy levels which are less than fermi energy level okay so the next concept when t increases that is t is not 0 degrees now t is greater than 0 degrees kelvin and when e is equal to ef at fermi energy level 
so now temperature is not uh, zero degrees kelvin suppose take any temperature suppose take room temperature uh, and when e is equal to ef then what will be f of e so f of e is equal to so when e is equal to ef then e minus ef becomes zero so this becomes one by e power zero so this becomes one by one plus one so this e power zero is also one so this becomes one by two or fifty percent 50% that means the energy the when T is not equal to 0 degrees Kelvin that is if temperature is increased in a semiconductor then Fermi energy so this is very important point Fermi energy level represents 50% probability 50% probability of existence of probability of existence of electron that means electron may or may not may or may not exist in the Fermi energy level so in the Fermi energy level may or may not exist okay so EF represents 50% probability of existence of electron in the case of semiconductor okay so they will ask you uh, it represents 50% or 75% or 100% probability of existence of electron so it is only 50% in the case of semiconductor in the case of semiconductor okay so uh, another most important point is this Fermi energy level is represents 100% probability of existence probability of existence in the case of metals in the case of metals okay so in metals always there will be free electrons existing at uh, conduction band so there will always be the existence of electrons in in the Fermi level so it represents the hundred percent probability of a electrons existence in the case of metals okay so this is the difference between Fermi energy probability of existence in the case of both semiconductors and metals okay